One of the core parts of the Cyberpunk 2077 experience is romance. There are a variety of characters you'll grow attached to, and several you could even develop full-fledged relationships with. And in this video, I want to show you a variety of mods that will enhance this aspect of the game, giving you some additional characters to romance in general, expanding how much you can interact with some of the existing romance choices, and even just making Night City overall a bit more immersive, and at least two parts of Night City larger. One of the first and best mods for this is Phone Messages Overhaul, as what this is going Going to do is add in a ton more when it comes to text interactions and even flirting options in Night City. One of the first things you'll notice with this mod is it gives both you and other NPCs more outlets for communication. Maybe you have a hint of a romantic moment with Panam during one of the quests, but now, after the fact, she's going to text you about this and you're going to have a variety of response options that dictate where the conversation will go. So you can have choices like leaning into the flirting or trying to cut it off completely if you want to play things slow instead. And almost feel Feels more human-like. You have something that happens and after the fact you text about it, which is exactly how many real-life interactions do occur. And this mod will even take it a bit further, as for some of the texts, they're going to be dependent on which decisions you make during the quests associated with them. So your choices during quests will impact which texts are sent to you, and then which texts you respond with will impact things even further. This mod most prominently impacts the texts you have with the major romance options in Cyberpunk. So the texts you have with Judy and Panam, but also some of the other miscellaneous characters, in particular those around Panam, you may learn about or hear some details from Panam, but then have a less intimate text chain with Mitch or some of the others. And this isn't even going to just be for flirting. Sometimes you may get a wrong text or even a heartfelt message. This not only gives you a greater insight into what other characters are thinking, but it also just really makes you feel like somebody who is living in this world, an actual resident of Night City. The occasional text really goes a long way to making you feel more connected to these people, and it makes the connections you begin to develop far deeper and more interactive. And this mod also adds in a completely new romance option with Bugbear. Bugbear is introduced to you during one of the gigs in Cyberpunk, it's always been that way. But with phone messages overhaul, she will begin texting you after the fact, and it'll open her up as a romance option. I don't want to spoil all of these texts, but I think this is handled really well. It basically starts off with Bugbear being curious as to who just saved them, and as you text back and forth more and more, she'll slowly figure out who you are, you'll go on a date, and even have a full-fledged romance if you want to. I think the best part about this mod overall is it's a really great complement to the existing cyberpunk story and romance options. It's going to make you feel more connected with those existing characters, and really augment what is there already. But if you do just want things in cyberpunk to be a bit raunchier, another great mod is Looter Nudes from Panam. Without spoiling too much, as you progress down the Panam romance tree, she'll at one point send you a picture. This being a lewd, definitely a suggestive picture, but not full-on nudity. As you can imagine, this mod will make that text a full-on nude. This done thanks to a completely custom model for for Panam that was recreated and posed for this image, and in general I'd say it makes the moment when you get that text have a bit more weight and gravitas. But okay, maybe you're over the age of 16 and sick of all these interactions coming via text. The Romance Enhanced series of mods can serve to make your relationships in Cyberpunk 2077 feel a bit more real. These mods are currently available for Panam, Judy, and River, with there being a general interactions enhanced mod for Carrie. After you actually get to the point of romancing another character in Cyberpunk 2077, your follow-up interactions are honestly kind of limited. It's like you finally do the deed, but then that was really it, the grand finale. The Romance Enhanced mods will really work to address that aspect of the game, what happens after you romance a character. Now when you return to that character's home or place of residence, which oftentimes becomes accessible to us after we romance them, you'll find those NPCs actually living in their place. You might stumble upon Judy sleeping, even if it's without you, River showering when you show up, or even just general interactions with the rest of the people who are living near them. And as you do arrive and see your partner, you're going to have additional options to hug and kiss them, or even just kind of hang out around them. These mods do serve to make these NPCs seem more alive live and interactable, like you're actually in a relationship with them and you can express that. In reality, it's only a couple of additional options here or there, but they do go a long way at actually making those characters feel alive. But perhaps you also want your favorite romance options to look a bit different. Alternative Clothes for Panam is a mod that will give Panam a few new outfits. This is largely being in line with the way Panam dresses already, she's just going to wear something different, and I feel like a mod like this is great for making those characters feel fresh and novel on a subsequent playthrough. This mod does require the Panam Body Enhanced mod as well though, so you may notice some other changes to her body in general. And although I have some more romance mods to show you in this video, maybe you also just want a more immersive and interactive Night City overall. Immersive Vic is another great mod that's going to make it feel like you are actually going to the doctor's office as you go to the Ripper Doc Victor. This one's really cool. Now as you return to him and inquire about new cyberware 
or work being done on your body, he's going to transition over to his chair, this being fully animated, and it'll give you the option to sit in the layback doctor's chair instead of just standing next to him. That's the entirety of this mod, it actually is pretty simple, but a really nice immersive experience, and in general just makes Vic feel even more special. And if you want even more immersive interactions all over Night City, we also do have Night City interactions. This will add in a variety of interact points all over the world such as having a drink with your favorite NPCs while at a bar, or even at times just sitting in a place and taking in the world overall. From a practical standpoint, this mod doesn't really do anything to progress things forward, at least not technically. There's no quest associated with this, but at the same time, it is pretty cool and it does make some of these things feel more rewarding. It is yet another mod that's going to make some of your character interactions in Night City feel a bit more real, as well as give some of the most popular locations in the game a bit more to do at them. And if you are looking to make even further overhauls to the world of Night City, we also do have Cyber Girl ads. This is a simple mod that will rework several of the advertisements to pop up around Night City. These all being focused around futuristic cyber girls doing things, and in general, I think some of these ads do look pretty good. Another one in that novelty category, where in a subsequent playthrough, just having things feel and look fresh is always a bonus. The mod Talk To Me will expand Night City immersion even further. Now as other NPCs walk around you, they will sometimes actually talk to you. Sometimes friendly, sometimes not, and these are largely just going to be minor comments or gestures. But the changes here are genuinely nice, it does remove that general silence that most of the other NPCs typically would have. Vanilla clothes refits for Enhanced Big B is definitely the closest we are getting into that category of mods. But in some ways, this mod is actually fixing an aspect of Cyberpunk. By default in Cyberpunk 2077, regardless of which chest size you select, the clothes that you wear will always represent the medium chest size. So if you picked large or you picked small, technically when you put on clothes, that is disappearing and you're reverting to medium. This mod's going to change that, as now all of the clothes your character wears will be remodeled as if you have a large chest. And with this mod particularly large, a bit larger than even the vanilla option. So now depending on which of the options you chose during character creation, now when you're actually walking around in Night City, your character will be more representative of what choices you made. See, it's not weird, it's just fixing an immersion-altering, game-breaking bug in Cyberpunk. Overall, those are going to be a variety of mods that will serve to enhance your interactivity in Night City, giving you new avenues and even new places to talk to some of your favorite NPCs, but even further, giving you completely new NPCs that you can have in-depth relationships with, and also just sometimes making things bigger. But did you know that Cyberpunk 2077 had a bunch of features cut out from it completely? In this video, I show you some of the most popular features cut from the game that modders have since added back. But until next time, I hope you guys all found this video informative or even just interesting, and with that, I hope to see you all later.